Yo, what's up fellas, it's Sweat. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an easy data lettuce farm on Nessus. All you guys are really going to need to do is go to the spot I'm at on the map here. I'm in the Tangle. I like to spawn into Artifact's Edge, make my way down here. And you want to make your way in this little platform area right here where I'm at. If you're in the right spot, you'll see this teleporter right here. Sometimes there'll be a data lettuce outside. All you're going to really need to do is go inside this teleporter and you're going to head down the main corridor. Another thing that you can use is a ghost that detects data lettuce from 30 meters out. It's not required, but it makes it a lot easier for this farm so you don't have to look around these rooms. So as you go into this first room here with the teleporter, there will always be one data lettuce in here. You're going to go ahead and pick that up and you're going to make your way into the next section or the next room here. And there will be another one sitting around. These are pretty easy to find since these rooms aren't that big. But if you do not see it, you can use your primary to zoom in. That way it'll it'll show you the data lettuce from a little bit farther out. But once you picked up two data lettuce, you're going to hop in this teleporter. You're going to keep walking forward and you're going to exit the area. So we're going to make our way back through the teleporter. We hit the tangle again, but we're going to go outside just to check because sometimes like this, there will be another data lettuce sitting outside. It can spawn here, up on the teleporter, a couple other places around here. So make sure you go out here to try and snag an extra one. It's just a couple extra steps outside the teleporter. But once you hit the tangle loading zone, like we did right before we entered the teleporter to go out there, um, you can go right back in and farm the data lettuce again. You're going to hit the two rooms and just rinse and repeat this consistently. Um, this is the most consistent farm that you'll find on Nessus. This will always work. You always get two every time. It's really nice. This this farm is a little bit slower than the other ones just because this planet is very big. But make sure you guys grind out as much of this material stuff as you can before Forsaken drops because these are going to be useful for your armor and weapons when the new infusion system comes and stuff like that. We don't know. There might be other uses for this stuff too. So make sure you guys stock up while you can. But yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, you enjoyed it, uh, feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm going to be posting as much stuff as I can to help you guys with Forsaken preparation all the way up to the DLC. But that's about it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.